Hey Insiders, Daniel Pickett here with another Aqua Monday and we are taking a look at a brand new release and something that's going into the Aquaman collection. This is the Diamond Select Toys Aquaman Vinnie Mate. I think this is from Series 3 of the DC uh, Comics Vinnie Mates that they've been doing. And uh, it was just released in comic book shops last week as part of that series, uh, also with Shazam and Darkseid. And he's available right now in your comic book shops. I suspect he will probably be uh, available at some point, like at Walgreens, because I know I've seen some of the other past uh, DC Vinnie Mates making their way into Walgreens stores. So if that trend holds true, you'll probably see Aquaman there too. So he comes in this uh, box right here that's, uh, you know, it's kind of reminiscent of a Funko Pop box. I don't think that's by accident. Everyone's trying to sort of chip away at the, uh, the Funko Pop thing a bit. So if you can find a nice form factor for the box that fits into what we know every single store already has their shelves set for, uh, that just helps you kind of get planogram space. So that was smart on their part there. So it's in this really nice box that is reminiscent of Aquaman's costume. It's got the, the green down at the bottom with sort of a belt where the logo is and then sort of an orangey yellow on top. A nice beauty shot of the figure here on the side. Uh, this is, I think this is kind of an early prototype because the real one you can see this is sort of solid water and this, well, once we get him out you'll see it's more translucent there. Here is what we're talking about. Uh, this wave also has Dark Side and Shazam with some uh, Thunderbolt. I guess that's not Thunder, that's technically lightning, isn't it? Lightning effects on him. So uh, those of you who are Mini Mates fans, you know that Diamond Select did have an agreement way back in the day with actually DC Direct. That was the pre-DC Collectibles company that they had where they made DC Mini Mates, which was awesome. Uh, that was roughly around 2007, 2008 they ran. And I love that line. I have every single one of those releases, all the box sets. I've got all the Comic-Con exclusives for those. I certainly have the original Aquaman that I'll show you here in a second once we get this guy open. But they ran into kind of some trouble where the people at DC Direct who aren't there anymore kind of thought they knew better and they wanted to design them. They thought they could do a better job than Diamond Select and things just kind of got gooey and weird. And then when that got abandoned, DC Direct kind of kept trying to find some other fun form factor that would stick and nothing kind of ever did. So they kept trying stuff. So. The, the old DC Mini Mates line was kind of put on hold. It's not kind of put on hold, very much put on hold and kind of went into limbo, which is a shame because they had some really great releases. They were kind of the first ones that allowed Diamond Select to explore kind of the, a larger form factor for some of the bigger characters. So you got like Gorilla Grodd and, and Ares and some of those guys came on a much bigger body, which was awesome. And a shame that that didn't get to continue further because they were doing some, some really great things and were missing some kind of key key characters still in the line. But, you know, that's that's what happens sometimes. So this is the, uh, the Vinnie Mates. He's... I don't know, I'd say he's about 5 inch scale. We're going to pop him open here. Super easy to open the box. Just kind of this plastic tray holds him in. Pop right out. Here you can see that's not great. Here you can see that, you know, he's got this great translucent plastic down here. He's in a great action pose. You can see he's kind of running forward through the water. He's got his trident there by his side. Really that trademark mini mate face, no nose, but still detail on the body. And you know, as things that are still unique to the character. He's got the little points on his glove. He's got his fin on the back of his leg. He's got the A sculpted on his belt. You know, they're really willing even in the uh, the Mini Mates line, they would sculpt the pieces that they need to sculpt to make make the figures unique, which I always thought was a great thing. I've been a, a Mini Mates collector from the very beginning, even when they were the larger scale. They they started off kind of two inch scale size. They did Star Trek and they did 
Lord of the Rings and a few others uh, in, an, in an early scale before they shrunk them down to the more sort of traditional inch and a half that we know now. So this, I said, you know, here is the, the Vinimate version that is in stores now. Here is the original DC Minimate version. So you can see pretty, pretty hefty scale discrepancy there between the two of those guys. One much larger than the other, but still you get that same sort of Minimate silhouette from both, which I think is a lot of fun. So I've got a couple of these, uh, as I said, some of these Vinimates too. I've got some of the Aliens ones, I've got some of the Watchmen guys, I got uh, Robbie the Robot and stuff. I, I think they're really fun sort of style and scale and still play with that great sort of Minimate profile that, uh, you know, I'm so used to. Because again, you know, I've been collecting Marvel Minimates since Wave 1, so I'm all in on this form factor, and I just I just really dig them. So I just wanted to give you a quick update here on this Aqua Monday. So there you have it. This is the Vinnie Mates Aquaman from DC Series 3 in stores now. If your comic shop doesn't have him in stock right now, make sure you check your Diamonds previews. I'm sure your comic shop would be happy to order you one of these, and they'll ship it right out just in a week or so. So you can have this guy in your collection as well, or if you want the dark side the Shazam, they'll get those for you too. I think I'm going to have to at least pick up Dark Side, if not Dark Side and Shazam, to add to my collection. So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you to Zach and Chuck for sending this guy my way. That diamond was really terrific. Like uh, Zach reached out to me when they were going to announce this figure. He said, "I know you love Aquaman. Do you want to debut?" the first images of this on AFI, and I said, absolutely I do, thank you very much. So that was very kind of them to let me do that, and even more awesome that they sent us this sweet sample to do for an Aqua Monday. So now we've got it, and now you can check it out. So we'll have more great Aquaman, Aqua Monday goodness coming up on AFI. Thank you all for watching. Like the video, subscribe, share it, whatever you do, and we'll be back with a lot more toy goodness on AFI TV.